Hello! Hi guys! So, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're gonna do something very important, okay? So, when we play the drums, one thing that is very important is that we keep the drums good. And we keep the drums in good condition as we can for as long as we can. So, today I'm gonna go through a little bit on drum kit maintenance. So, what do we do? to make sure that our drum doesn't break after two weeks, right? Okay, so we're gonna go with replacing our drum head. Okay, so you see I have a drum head over here. I'm gonna change this, but how am I gonna do it? Let's find out. So the first thing I'm gonna use is a drum key. Okay, this drum key you can get it in, in most music shops. Drum shops, specialized drum shops, have it also. Just Google, right? So, on the drum, we have these things over here, they are called tension rods. So, what tension rods do is that they put the drum head in place and gives us the pitch that we know. So, yeah, sounds like that, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to loosen all the tension rods and take out my drum head, okay? So, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the drum key and go to any tension rod and turn towards the left. So, if you can't remember, just remember righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So, right for tight, left for loose, okay? So, it doesn't need to, you don't need to use your drum key all the way as long as it's a bit loose and then if you see at the bottom there's actually a part of the tension rod that is exposed so you can actually use your fingers to untighten it. Same thing on the side. Okay? To make sure that our drum head or the tension rods don't get broken or anything, we like to go in opposites. So I did one here, now I'm gonna jump to the opposite and loosen here. Okay? Then after that, after this is loosened, I'm going to move to the next one and to the opposite. One more time. And last but not least. Okay, so after this you can put away your drum key. Some drums have eight tension rods, but this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six or eight doesn't really matter as long as you go in opposites. So now I'm going to use my fingers to loosen the tension rods. Uh, so once it's completely loosened, which it should be, it's going to look like this. Okay. To make sure that we don't lose it, I'm just going to leave it on the hoop over here. Okay. Same thing, loosen, go around. If you like metal clanging sounds, this is for you. Or if you like ASMR. And all six are done. So I'm going to lift the hoop and it's going to be like this. Okay, so I have my drum head. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take out the drum head, put it out. Okay. Next is the drum kit maintenance part of the maintenance. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab cloth for the jing. Okay, we're gonna wipe the hoop first. Okay, so make sure that, see, there's dust here. Ew, gross. Okay, we're gonna get the dust out. Make sure that we clean it properly so that when we put in our new head, it doesn't get crushed by dust. So you can see all the little speckles coming out, which is not good. Don't do that. Okay, not good. Okay, so I pretty much clean the hoop, and we're gonna put the hoop on one side. Okay, I'm gonna lay it down, and to the actual drum itself. So this is the floor tom. So there's legs on the floor, which means I don't need to bend down and clean it. 
So I'm gonna use the cloth, same thing, wipe the top side. Then wipe the inside of the drum. Okay, so after you wipe the drum, you can put in your cloth and there is dust inside. So I'm gonna flip the drum and Stop. Okay. So now that we got this, what's next? Answer is a new drum hit. Yay! New drum hit. So how I like to put my drum hits is I like to align it. So let's see where is the start of the uh, the brand is here. So you can see the brand name packs over here. I'm gonna align the drum hit. I'm going to align the drum head, the logo, on top of the drum itself, the logo. So, make backs and aquarium on top. If you get, if you get dirt, it's okay. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Okay, so, remember our trusty hook and with our tension rods. Remember that six, uh, or eight. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna place the hook down into the slots that we took it up just now. Okay, and for each of the tension rods, put it in the hole that it's supposed to be. So you see over here, this one, this tension rod goes into this hole, like that. Okay, so after that, how do we make sure that it doesn't get loose again? We're gonna tighten with our fingers. So just now we're gonna turning to the left to loosen, now we're turning to the right to tighten. Okay, so just gonna leave it here halfway. I'm gonna put all of the tension rods in and then we're gonna start tuning the drums. Okay, so I got all my tension rods in. So just to make sure, yeah, okay. Don't do that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my finger to tighten it first. It's called finger tighten, if you didn't know. So I'm gonna use my finger and tighten. I wanna tighten it until my fingers can't twist it no more. So, ah, okay, yeah, great. If you feel that your tension rod is a little bit rusty, very hard to turn, you can use lubricants, Vaseline, stuff like that, WD-40, maybe. Okay, so same thing as removing a head, drum head, but you're gonna poke on the drum head. Which order do we go through? Opposite! Yes, opposite! So, just gonna hit one here, now I'm gonna go to the opposite side. Okay, same thing, I'm gonna use my finger to tighten. Uh, from, from here you can't see lah, but trust me, okay? Then we're gonna turn to the right, finger tighten. And since I have two hands, I can do both. Yeah. And last two. Ah, okay, so now it looks more like the drum that we know, right? So, how do we get our desired pitch? 